finally finished it. I, this is a second part to a uh, previous video on uh, my uh, 1879 uh, B. Eldridge automatic uh, sewing machine. And uh, I bought it, as a recap, I bought it in a box. It was in a plastic box, all in pieces. Looked like someone may have uh, started to take it all apart. They were going to refinish it, and then this never did. And uh, I uh, didn't have much reference uh, material and uh, went ahead and started put, piecing it back together. And uh, I believe I got it all back together. I uh, have one extra piece, <laughs> which I don't... I, what I'm, I'm thinking this is, uh, it is a guard. of it's a, it's a guard that I believe is for this right here, which is where the um, leather strap, when this is also used as a treadle, so you take the base off, as I showed in a previous the previous video, this piece here without the hand crank sits on a table and then there's a treadle pedal with a leather uh, belt that comes up through here. And I, I believe that when this handle is gone, when this uh, crank handle is gone, this can be fitted on here either underneath or on the side because there will be enough room on the shaft to act as a guard uh, of some kind. And that was in here. Um, this is what I'm thinking it is because I can't find any reference to it on the pictures that I had that um, you know it went with the hand crank because I don't see it. I actually don't see very many pictures with the hand crank. I'm seeing them all without. So this hand crank may be just as valuable and unique as the machine itself because this hand crank, uh, you know, is uh, like an accessory device. May have been sold originally with it, I don't know. So here you go, I'm gonna give it some turns and you'll see how it works. Uh, it needs to be mounted, but once you get it going, it turns pretty freely. That spool right there is where the, the spool is where the spool of thread goes. The thread goes, I think, through this thing that's going up and down, which stops and starts the thread uh, each each rotation. This piece I had a little trouble with right in here where this mounted it because it's in there at an angle. To take this whole bar off and put that piece on first, that end goes on first, and then this end goes second. Um, and uh, there's the plate and the foot. So I got the foot up. Right here's the lever to lower the foot. As you see, it goes down. So here's what it does. It raises the foot, lowers the foot. And this, the, that whole bar that raises and lowers, you see it kind of twists a little bit. It looks like it's a, the gap has worn so there is some movement in here uh, on this foot. So if it were used, it would be you'd have to be really careful because if the foot shifted a little bit, it would hit the needle. So um, there may be a way to uh, tighten that up a little bit. There's a screw in there that screws in all the way. So one of the things I found, one of my dilemmas, is most I, I was looking for pictures for this. And the interesting thing is everyone who took a picture of one of these only took a picture of this side. It was always displayed from this side because this is the way you would be looking at it if you were sewing on it. Whether it would be through the treadle or through the hand crank, you're on this side. You put your, clo your clothing in here and you're going to crank it here. All, I did get a picture. I think I had one picture I found that was kind of of this angle. So I was able to see a little bit more of how this assembly was all put together. But I never got a picture of the opposite side. So what I'm going to do uh, is turn this over around. And I'm going to show do a little video on the back side of this. Because the future, there may be someone just like me looking for more information on how this thing uh, went together and uh, needs to take a look at the backside. And mainly because the key issue on the backside, or the key item on the backside, is the way this spring goes in here. This is the thing that lowers and ra raises the foot, and it'll raise it up and lower it. And uh, need a little focus going here, maybe. And uh, that little spring goes up inside of there. And uh, this thing raises and lowers a little bit. 
and then it's kind of loose. This has got some wear inside. There's a little groove behind this where this where this screw goes in and guides up and down and it's got some play in there which would be a problem like I said for the needle going in there so this is the back side of it this particular one let me tip it up a little bit for you here uh, there's the serial number on this one um, and here's the back side here's the bottom of it there's a bolt that's the bolt that holds the base on there's a mark on the bottom not sure what that means. Uh, it may be a third party. I don't know that, that built these. I'm not sure. Uh, here's the back side. This piece is where you put your thread. This just comes out. It's pressure fitted in there. So you put your spool of thread on here and uh, stick that in there. Um, now I've I don't have a needle for this. I tried using a standard modern uh, sewing needle, which you know, I got a, a few of them here that I found in my house. Um, they're too long. Um, they don't come up out far enough to allow you to put the lay to uh, here. That's what that I had this off because I was putting a, the way this works is the needle goes up in there and then you screw this in to tighten it. It tightened down on the needle. And so, um, oh, that's why it was there. We go, raise that up. And there's the foot going up and down so uh, that's it and um, not only that is it but I'm getting to show you the the mystery side of this B. Eldridge um, sewing machine which uh, like I said I never found a picture of the back side of it let me do a side view so you can get a side view of the crank and the crank assembly and uh, this is it kind of see how it works from the side here See that slips over top of that piece. It's got a little extension on it. You can see it slips over on the outside of it when you put this on and down through there. That's the way that one works. Um, so there we go. It's pretty pretty complete. I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while and see if I can't get a needle. If I can get an old needle for this, um, I would love to learn how to thread it. That's the next piece. I'm not real clear on how it threads. I know it kind of comes through here. There's a, a kind of a hook down in here. Um, then there's a hole that goes here. It goes through these somehow. And then somehow it comes through. Now I don't know if it goes into this piece and then comes down into here. Then it drops pretty much straight down. There's no other loops or anything. So it'll drop straight down from here and go and thread through the needle and pull through. The other thing I have a question about on this is it doesn't have a bobbin. So it doesn't have the thread coming from the underneath side. Now I know in the early days they didn't do that. That's That was kind of a modern thing, but um, I'm not sure how this thing pulls through without a bobbin. And um, you know, maybe it does have one. Uh, I've had this apart and I don't see any mechanism under there for a bobbin. So, um, yeah, I, I'm still doing some research and I need to probably take this to somebody and talk to somebody about it. So I'd like just to learn a little bit more about it. But, um, so that's the end of my project. Um, pretty comfortable with this. I think I'm going to put it on one of my displays I have in my house and, uh, be a nice conversation piece for a little while as I do some little more research on it and see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, if this, you're seeing this for your for the first time, I do have a part one to this where I'm actually showing you some more of the assembly from the beginning um, and what I what I had to go through to put it, how this all went together and what it started like when I got it. So uh, hopefully this was some some information for someone in the future who's looking to put one of these together like me who had no info on it. Um, and just a record of something from the past. All right.